Sean, I actually played both of these players. I played Sean at a battle road. Sean defeated me. With, he was playing um, Reggie Steel Electric at the time. And I played Stefan at regionals. I played him in Swiss and I played him in the top 32 where I took both games. Um, both of them are very cool players. Um, very good players too. Both times I've seen these players play, they are playing electric decks. So I'm curious to see what they're playing today. Um, I know Stefan is playing um, Tornadus Electric today. He told me earlier. He's playing Tornadus and Mewtwo and um, Zekrom EX in his deck. I'm not sure what Sean is playing today. Uh, seems that we have a lot more EO players than I expected at the tournament. Um, even though we've seen a bunch of Landers, Electric is still here. Showing that Landers did not scare up Electric. <laughs> Sean putting his hat on the camera. Both players are getting set up. They're about to begin round four. Both these players are the undefeated players. They are 3 0. Sitting at table one. Well, 10, but table one in terms of masters. I'm not sure uh, if any of these guys have went to city championships yesterday. Um. I guess they're getting ready to start. And Sean sh showing a mulligan, showing fighting energy, which means he could be playing Landon, which is a really big problem for Stefan if he starts a title. I didn't get to see what he started with. in his hand, so I'm assuming he did not start with Tynamo. Yeah. Most players don't know, oh, don't realize, they, they don't have to bench all the Pokemon in their opening hand. With Landris and Vermin, you don't want to have Landris use the full 30-30 if you don't, you know, for example, if you started Tornadus, you don't take anything, you're not risking your Tynamo getting knocked out turn one. looks like he's going to go first, and most likely will not see a turn one victory, knowing that Sean gets two Pokemon. Seeker is not in the format, so you're going to see a full game here, assuming both players draw well. Now looking at Stefan's hand, it doesn't seem particularly strong. I do not see a supporter. I'm not sure what that card is under Ultra Ball, but this can be a very big problem for Stefan. <laughs> Thanks for asking, no problem. Game is starting. Start with Landers, yes, and Trubbish. So Sean is playing Garbo right now. It'd be a very big problem for um, Spawn's electric deck. Starting Tornado SDX and a double Velos. And a Sky Arbor, showing pressure and knocking out. The Trubbish actually only has 60 HP. There is another Trubbish, which has a very uh, much weaker attack. It has 70 HP, which prevent um, blow through from knocking it out with a stadium, and it also prevents Landers from two shotting it. Twan takes a quick beat. He hasn't played as a border, but he's putting on early pressure. Landers isn't really threatening the tornadoes, but it is threatening the electric. If he has a catcher, he could knock out 
the electric for one energy, and then putting 30 on the furnace because um, resistance is not applied on the bench. Now Sean plays an Ultra Ball, um, seeing what surprise, see if he's what's left in the deck. See how many tools he has, which trubbishes, how many trubbishes he still has left. He just lost one turn one before even drawing a card. So that could be a problem if he has a couple of prize. Pete gets one from his Ultra Ball. Now Trubbish actually has a very good attack. It could get any card from your discard pile and put it on top of your deck for one colorless energy. And along with that, the Trubbish only has one retreat cost opposed to the 70 HP one, which has two. Sean plays a Juniper after attaching the Fighting to Lander. Sean is probably looking for the Pokemon Catcher, which can maximize the damage, and he hits it, knocking out the time and putting 30 on the Tornado CX. Has another Pokemon that you're catching up with Trubbish. Blow through and knocking it out. Now, even though the one only has um, these Tornadoes active, Sean really cannot threaten the knockout because Tornadoes resist fighting Lander, so I'll do 10 damage to it right now. The only way I can see Sean um, being able to threaten Sean is if he drops down a Mewtwo, which could potentially threat, um, force Sean to punch another Pokemon. Now this Tornadus is really bailing out Stefan because he doesn't have a supporter, but he's able to take prizes, stay in the game, and not be knocked out, but Sean is forced to play and to get cards because 10 damage is not enough to do anything with Stefan, whereas Stefan can do 60 or even 100 if he has an energy. This end really could have hurt Stefan because he hasn't drawn many cards, he hasn't played many cards, and getting end to four already. So the end wasn't that really bad necessarily. It doesn't help as much if unless Stefan draws the board, but you're only getting a four card hand. And your deck is still all there. And now you see uh Hammerhead for ten damage. Stefan so benching the UX, knowing that he has to put Pokemon out to prevent getting benched out. His Lance Judgment would do, uh, 130, knocking out the Tornado CX. <laughs> now, Stefan puts his hand out and plays Bianca, drawing six cards, finally playing a supporter. Now, Sean is in a really tough position. He could knock out the uh, Tornado CX next turn. But doing so, oh, never mind. The EV light prevents the Lange Judgment knockout. But if Sean had knocked out the Tornado with Lange Judgment, he would have lost all his energy in play, leaving none to even be um, a use experience share with Mewtwo, and would force Sean to have a double cost energy to be able to attack. Is going to power blast for 100, keeping the energy, then threatening a knockout next turn.
Sean mentions his third Trevor that just like Spanish share. Threatening power lock. Then just double close to the Me Too and places Skyla. Now I think he has no cards in hand, so I would assume he would probably get a supporter here. Oh, he's going for the catcher. Oh, he's going for the Gets the catcher of Calvin Skyler. I'm not sure how I feel about getting a Pokemon Catcher, even though he Sean, could get a prize, drawing one card for his prize. I think the safer play would be getting a supporter. You should leave yourself in top deck mode, and you not much to do. And Sean, if you get um, Stefan to take advantage of this, and just power through. All Sean has, Stefan has to do is take out the landers, and then the Mitsu to win the game. Now, he hammerheads not got the time out by putting 30 on the turns. It should be 10. Um, I'm not sure. I doubt I'm allowed to correct that. But it should be only 10 because of the Eviolite renting from the bench. But both players don't catch this at the go on the games. Stefan's still in a strong position. He's going to knock out the Landers EX this turn. And then he would have to knock off the Mitsu to win the game. And so he has the Mewtwo on his bench, ready for the Mewtwo last prize. He's going to Bianca for four cards. <coughs> Let's play a level ball and evolve the electric. Is it ultra ball getting rid of and another card I can't see and he gets a Mewtwo. Oh, well, this is going to ensure that even if Sean knocks out a Mewtwo, he would be revenge good by Mewtwo and a double call us. Here's the fun's last few prizes, putting Sean in a very tough position. And power blast and keeps the energy and knocking out the Ender CX, going down to two prizes. It's completely rubbish. It doesn't look like Sean has anything to the prize and tire off the top of like, Didn't look like it helped much. Now that Mewtwo does have three energy on it, so a double call lifts and a catcher from Stefan will end the game. Tax ball would do then 200 damage. Not giving to you and winning Stefan in the game.
he's going to start garbage collecting, putting a juniper on out of his deck. Plays a juniper discarding and dynamo and uh, lightning energy. If he hits the catcher in energy or a double close in that catcher, the game ends and looks like he whiffed. Which is okay, Stefan is in a still very favorable position. He could take the Trubbish knockout, going down to one prize. He's going to Dynamo or wants to get Mewtwo and attach one for turn. And he plays the Two Scrapper, getting rid of the screen shares, preventing Sean from getting energy from the Trubbish and putting it onto the Mewtwo. It's one bitch's third Mewtwo. It was good because he's thinning out his deck in case. Well, because he's taking the prizes, so he's, if he gets end, he's going down the line. But we know Sean is going to get a Juniper up for his turn, so N is n probably not going to happen. Actually, we know N is not going to happen, because he's trying the Juniper. That's just the fighting energy to me too. Oh, take that back. Considering discarding it for his Professor Juniper. I am sure he does not want to attack with his Mewtwo this turn. Because if he attacks, he will therefore loses the game. Just by Savan knocking at his Mewtwo with his arm. Expo's taking the knockout. Stefan's going to attach the energy and then Expo off for the knockout and game. Yeah, Stefan takes the game to move on to um, 4 0 with his Me Too Tornadus Electric back. Avoiding the whole Landris thing. Going first is a big um, thing. He could have lost the Tino before drawing the card if Sean gone first. But instead, Stefan takes the first prize by knocking out a Trubbish on his first turn. Even though Stefan had a subpar hand, the Tornadoes carried him to victory, taking home, um, I believe, five prizes. And then Mewtwo sealing a deal off on Sean's Mewtwo.